Hello again. Now before we start, I'm just going to say that I'm recording this on Tuesday, so I can have it all ready to upload tomorrow, which I probably wouldn't be able to film and upload and do all sorts of editing with it tomorrow, because that's when my deadline is for all my photography work. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll get it done, I'm sure I will, but uh, just to make sure that I got this video done, I thought I'd do it now. Um, so obviously I haven't seen Ariel's video, but I have seen Joe's video, and I'm sorry Joe you're having a bad day, hopefully it's not a bad week. Um, so I have a dog on my lap. If on to happier things, you said about your worst holiday, I thought I'd say about my best. Um, I've been to quite a few places in the world, but I think I'd have to narrow it down to my favourite would be when I went to Paris in... Now let me get this year right. It'd be... Dog getting up. It'd be 2007 is when I went. And I went to see the Rugby World Cup with school. And we stayed for about a week and we went to Disneyland and did other things. And it was great. You know, it was a really good because I love France. I can speak a bit of French, which I won't be tested on. Uh, I really enjoyed it. But France is an amazing country. The people are just wonderful. I ended up having to order all the drinks at the bar for the teachers and other people who were there because I was the only one who could speak, you know, enough French to get by. Because <laughs> so we were PE teachers, not French teachers. Um, we stayed in a lovely hotel and next to a bowling alley and an arcade and stuff like that and it was just really, it was just great hanging out and it, what was different about it was that it wasn't, because I wasn't with my family, I wasn't with my friends, I was with just the people who were on my rugby team. So I didn't really know them outside of sort of just playing sport. So it was good to get to know them and see, you know, I've made some friends that are still in contact with now because of that. The worst holiday would be to Gran Canaria, which is obviously one of the Canary Islands. I'm not a big fan of Spain anyway, so going to Gran Canaria. Although it's not mainland Spain, it's still Spain. And it was a tacky hotel, there was horrible sort of screaming and police lights going on throughout every night we stayed. Um, apparently the hotel room next to ours was broken into and there's still loads of stuff. Um, I fell over uh, playing pool and grazed all the left side of my legs because it was some weird granite. No, granite would be smooth. This was like just volcanic rock that had been left or something. It was horrible scraping and oh. And then the worst part, you know, I could have maybe stood with all that. It's been my worst holiday, but it would have at least been bearable. The worst part was that at that, that time I couldn't swim. And uh, my mum and dad would be saying, oh, you know, little teacher. And I, we're a very stubborn family, and when we don't get our way, we get annoyed and irritable. So we ended up shouting at each other and la 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 la, you know, as it goes on. So I basically went, you know what? I'm going to learn to swim on my own because that's a brilliant plan, isn't it? And you know how I did that? I went and I marched up with every ounce of, you know, determination, stood at the deep end of a pool. I stood, put my toes over the edge and looked down and I went, right, I'm going to swim. And he literally just went, oof, into the pool. Now, as you can probably imagine, a uh, seven-year-old boy who can't swim stepping off the end of the pool into the deep end isn't the best plan in the world. But <laughs> I basically went down and went, oh, this, this plan did not work. And <laughs> I can laugh now because it's quite funny. Well, maybe, I don't know. You, you decide, you decide if it's funny or not. And um, so yeah, this German boy happened to be swimming in the pool as well. And he dived in or used near the pool, and he dived in, brought me up to a shallow end, and uh, said, you're right, and stuff, because he could speak English. So he helped me out, and then my mum and dad came rushing over and checked I was all right, and then all this, and blah, 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 blah. But I don't remember much about it, other than that the kid was German, um, but I'd step, literally stepped off. I don't like, that might be why I've got a fear of falling now. I never actually thought about that. That's actually quite a good thing. 
I mean, since I can sw I can swim now, I don't jump in pools. Again, probably because of that experience. Um, but yeah, so those are my best and worst holidays for strange, different reasons and whatnot. I mean, I've been to loads of, like I say, I've been I've been to Cuba, um, Gran Canaria, Tenerife, Crete, France. I've been to France three times, two of which was in Paris. I've been to Australia. I'm going to Australia again in six weeks. Well, I'm very much looking forward to because my dad lives there and I haven't seen him for years. Um, so yeah, where I'd like to go, I'd like to go to America next and hopefully meet up with either Joe, Raylin, maybe even Ariel, you know, or whoever, that'd be great. Um, so that's it for now, I uh, hope you've enjoyed Wednesday's video and yeah, I hope it's been good. Thanks very much.